Now for some questions about identifying types of reactions. We'll begin with 13. Represents an oxidation reduction reaction. So what we want to see for 13 is a reaction where the oxidation states or the charges of the compounds or of the elements in the compounds changes as it goes from reactants to products. If we look at, say, A, the oxidation number of oxygen on the reactants would be zero and in the products would be zero, so no change. Now you might look at this and say, oh look, it's minus and plus, and that's going to neutral, so that's a change. We well, have to look at the individual elements, and when you look at the individual elements, you'll see in all of these compounds, oxygen is minus two, and hydrogen is plus one. And so as it goes from left to right, yeah, the you know the charge of the compounds are changing, but you, what you're looking for is the individual oxidation numbers of those elements changing. So we don't see that in B, we don't see that in C. Same kind of idea in D. We see these charges, but this is going to be a different type of reaction. The uh, oxidation number or the charge of calcium is still plus two and carbonate is still minus two and the individual carbon and oxygen is still the same. So no change, but let's look at E because with E iron starts out neutral and then becomes plus two, whereas copper starts out as plus two, but then becomes neutral. So we have a transfer of electrons. O uh, iron is being oxidized. Copper is being reduced. So 13 will be E. How about forming an ionic precipitate from a solution? So precipitate means a solid, and we want to form it from a solution. So if you look at B, we do have two ions coming together, but they're forming water, which is liquid. In D, we have two ions in solution coming together to form a solid, and this is going to be an insoluble solid and therefore a precipitate. And so we would get choice D. Represents a Bronsted acid base reaction. So here we want to see the transfer of a proton, the transfer of a hydrogen plus. We want to see acids and bases. And the only one that really shows that is B, because in B we've got OH minus plus H3O plus equilibrium with 2H2O. So what you have here, it's kind of a mutual. We can almost write it this way to make it really clear. It's H2O plus H2O, a little bit weird. But notice this H plus is being transferred to this hydroxide forming water and leaving behind water. So it may not look like it at first, but when you break up that 2H2O into two separate waters, you can see, oh, here's the Bronsted base. Here's the Bronsted acid. And here's that transfer of that proton of that H plus. So 15 is going to be choice B. So let's check the other two reactions just to talk about what they are. A is just a normal, I don't know what you would call it. It's just a transformation reaction really between oxygen and ozone. So you have this equilibrium, I guess you can say, uh, between oxygen and ozone and fine. And then the other one is C and in C what we're doing, this little triangle here means applying heat. So we are heating up this compound that is a hydrate. You have this water in this crystal structure, and then you basically, by heating it, drive off or evaporate the heat out of the solid. So you're just left with the solid, and then the water leaves as vapor. So that's the heating of a hydrate to drive off the water, to remove the water. We don't see that in any of our choices, so we get E, D, and B.